This video is going to be the ultimate copium, the ultimate hopium for Halo Infinite. These are 20 leaks for Halo Infinite's Forge mode that you've probably missed. If you like these type of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let's get right into the content here. Artifact shows us what a deep pulser looks like in Halo Infinite. Dan Brindley shows us what Minecraft's world would look like in Halo Infinite. Honestly, this is kind of insanely well done. The scaling on this is incredible. This looks like, well, what Minecraft would look like in Halo Infinite. Not the craziest forging technique, but I think the scaling and the themes that he was able to capture are perfect within this. Custom games are going to be insane in Halo Infinite. There are so many different things that people can do now in this game. Like right here, we have this crazy jump game. We have to dodge falling Razorbacks and also jump on platforms. Here we have the Square game that we've seen previously in Halo 5 in Halo Infinite. This is pretty awesome to see how it resets then and go to a new square. I'm sure it randomizes there. Then we have a different one where you have to, looks like you're doing like the Warhog run in CE, but this time you're doing it in Halo Infinite, which I mean, come on, that's pretty incredible, right? We have Duquesne 23's race map. This next one from Red Nomster, a YouTuber who's been doing quite some dig deep dives when it comes to Halo's lore. A bit of a forger as well, created a realistic to scale type of film noir kind of room that this guy created right here, which is pretty incredible stuff like this filing cabinet filled with objects inside of it. You see just down to the details of like these clipboards actually have things written on them, which is just so cool to see. But then when he actually scans around to the other side of the room, you actually get the chance to see like the amazing doors, the windows, the atmosphere he's created, the lighting in this is incredible as well. As you can see here, like the doors, there's the desk right there. It looks so well detailed that it's actually insane that this is able to be done in Forge. Of course, it wouldn't be the internet if we didn't have SpongeBob SquarePants references right here. And you see Karma Plex created this awesome little detail of just like, the wonderful land of under the sea of SpongeBob SquarePants universe. And like, yeah, this looks pretty incredible, pretty much spot on. And uh, I mean, like, come on, who doesn't love SpongeBob, man? Like the memes are still fired to this day. You even get the chum bucket as well, mix in with the whole thing. I think it looks like a, also from like Fallout 4 robot right there as well, which is just okay. Sure, why not throw it in there? Dan Brindley once again shows us how amazing atmosphere can be created in Halo Infinite. One of Endor with ETSDs on the map. I mean, like, look at this. Like, this looks like straight out of like you see on Star Wars, but this time it's in Halo Infinite. Rather incredible. And of course, the internet runs on memes. And the one way to put the map live fire to true scale is to show it with a banana. And how about a lot of bananas, as in thousands and thousands of bananas. Placing nearly 150,000 items of bananas on the map, which is just like, why not? You could do this in Forge. Like this is the fun stuff you could do in this game now, which is gonna be incredible once Forge actually goes live. And here's an early mock-up of the classic Halo 3 map, the pit this is one map that I actually would be really excited to see be brought in the halo infinite with the extra abilities of clamber and also the possibilities of the grapple shot and repulsor could be really interesting ways to play out this map i'm definitely excited to see what this could happen if we could get this like in matchmaking in some way i would absolutely love it you can see actually here in the corner that once the player kind of goes out towards the middle bridge area that actually has like the banana jump right where you actually have two ways to go about it. you can either clamber it or you can crouch up it like you could classically in the Halo 3, but this time in Halo Infinite, which is, of course, amazing. If you're enjoying this content, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more stuff like this. All the different types of Forge features are going to be linked in the description down below, but let's get back into more awesomeness. Here is a video of some speed art brought to you by Unkeen over here, showcasing his way of making the classic Halo 2 map lockout, but this time in Halo Infinite, which is Again, incredible stuff. This is a block out that people usually do when they first start forging up maps, but then he actually kind of dresses it up to kind of put the proper atmosphere to the whole thing. And yeah, guys, it's looking pretty good. Like this is just a rudimentary. I think this is done before people even knew how to save maps and forge. He did this all in one sitting, which is again, insane to think about. Showcases the true power of forge, how quickly you can put things together. And I'm very excited about it when it comes out. Sticking with Halo 2, Elitist on YouTube created the level Grave Mine, at least the first room in Halo Infinite's Forge. Again, like this is nothing too crazy because there really isn't anything you could do on this. It's more of an atmosphere kind of thing, but this kind of shows like if you were going to remaster Halo 2's campaign, but this time in Halo Infinite's engine, 
This is like basically what it would look like. And it looks, well, frankly, incredible. Amazingly well done. Kind of fits the Halo 2 style as well as the Halo Infinite art style when it comes to the Forerunner aesthetics. And this just looks absolutely incredible. Cryptum here showcases us how to use a Warzone-like call-in system for Halo Infinite. This seems to be kind of triggered by just crouching near a terminal when it comes to side-scrolling through different items, right? And then once you hit activate it will actually jump you into the vehicle again like this is just some like rudimentary different types of functions you can put in halo infinite's forge that once you put into like a full game mode or a map then the, uh, the possibilities are essentially infinite pardon the pun this is more early forge stuff but this one's just fun this person scripted the central beam to shoot skewer shots out of it but as a beam and you can see it's basically breaking the game because there's just so much craziness going on. Imagine just like a map of like eight people all having this weapon, just spamming it at each other. I mean, just like the most insane custom game mode would just be it's just hilariously stupid and fun. This talks here showcase a way to script essentially an AC-130 in Halo Infinite using a saber and some fusion coils being thrown from the saber right there. And this would just be a really cool thing if you can find a way to possibly call in a saber, the, like a kill streak almost in a way, have like a cooldown on it as well. And so then like just throughout the map, you just have a saber just come in and just bombard you with fusion coils. I mean, that would just be hilarious. And I can't wait to see like what actually happens with this type of function. Now from the same creator showcases a really cool thing. Now I showcases previously that yes, you can rebuild barricades in a way like Call of Duty Zombies style here, but this was a really interesting function that I didn't know was possible until I saw this video why, is why I'm sharing with you guys here. But there's a way you can script bots to be in vicinity of the barrier and basically they would have over time would break down the barrier, give the bots some type of attributes like slow movement, low health and swords and well, you can basically play Call of Duty Zombies by yourself in Halo Infinite's Forge, which, I mean, come on, like, who wouldn't want to do this? This looks incredible. I absolutely love this. You can also rebuild these barriers like you showcased earlier. So, I mean, like, this stuff is going to be a lot of fun. Now, sticking with the Call of Duty Zombies feel right here, Helio Scrub showcases this way to create PDF Flopper. If you guys remember this ability here from Call of Duty Zombies right here, basically it was a way if you did a big dolphin knife, it would create a huge explosion in a blast radius style thing. Well, you can do that in Halo Infinite's Forge as well. But the, basically the way you've scripted it where if you're doing normal jump, it doesn't happen. Fall from a decent little height, not that big of a deal right there. But if you fall from a big height, like using a repulsor, it creates a big blast way for you to jump on top of these characters. So imagine this in a zombies mode, right? Where basically you have the repulsor, but when you use the repulsor, it creates a shockwave effect, killing out multiple zombies all at once. This would just be a hilarious ability. Just kind of just basically Goomba stomp all the enemy uh, infection players. I mean, that would just be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait for this to be showed up in Forge. Now, this is the last Call of Duty reference I'll show to you guys, but I had to show you it all because it looks so good. This is from Infinite Forges. I have multiple coming from me on this video here. He recreated Knock Their Tone from Call of Duty Zombies at World at War, and my God, dude, it looks even better than the original game. Like, this is incredible stuff. And uh, this is just like more of an atmospheric kind of map. But if you put towards some of the functionalities when it comes to the barriers being broken down, you are literally playing World at War zombies on the very first zombie map ever in Halo Infinite. I mean, the atmosphere in this is absolutely incredible. And it's maintained 60 frames. That's an important thing too. Another map from Infinite Forge is showcasing what an infection map would look like if Halo Infinite had a flood infection happening on a map. Well. Again, you're really utilizing utilizing some roots and some flowers in a way that make it really look like the flood has infected this entire area right here. He said I threw this together really quickly, so nothing too crazy. I believe he made this before the realization of how to save maps in Halo Infinite. So this is all done like in one sitting with the like, perfect lighting. The excellent use of the roots and flowers really gives you that true atmosphere along with like the atmospheric haze that they added into the map as well amazing stuff this other creation from infinite forges just makes me wish that this was in campaign he created this all in one sitting usually about two or three hours is when he streams this stuff and like look at the level of detailed atmospheric storytelling that's done within this forge map i mean 
I wish we had this kind of stuff uh, in, in the campaign. Hopefully we get this in some kind of campaign DLC in some way. But the level of detail and like I said, the environmental storytelling that is done with these atmospheric kind of maps that he likes to create is absolutely incredible. I'm super excited to see what comes next. Could next look like a Doom map? Well, yeah, Infinite Forges again did this as well. Some of you have probably seen this one go around the internet a bit here, but yeah, basically utilizing the laser on the map breaker, redid the lighting, created some more kind of lava-like structures and rocks and stuff like that. I mean, like this looks like some ripped straight out of Doom. Like this could just be a Doom map. Like I, I'm fully convinced at this point, like the stuff you can do in Forge is just incredible. I know it sounds like a broken record, but this is getting me so excited and so much hopium and copium for Halo Infinite. But the last one, I'll leave you with some memes. There is the Cybertruck is now in Halo Infinite. It was created in Forge utilizing the Razorback here. I mean, come on, Tesla memes and the Halo memes kind of thrown together all together in one great little package. I mean, who doesn't want to have a Cybertruck in Halo Infinite? I mean, I certainly do. I didn't see him drive it though. If it's drivable, that would make it 20,000 times better. But this looks, again, hilariously awesome. And for the memes. There is a fix coming from one of the most annoying bugs that has been going on since the release of the August Drop Pod. I have a full video detailing all of it right here, guys, if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.